Hi, give me a second. I'm going to be uh, inviting Francisco on here, so give us one sec to get it set up. <laughs> Let's see. All right, let me summon him. I love it. <laughs> Sink, I'm here. Let's see if it works. Sorry. I hit the button. It should be popping up, right? Yo. I did hit the approve. What's going on? Oh my god, good. Oh, oh my god, where? Like this is gonna be epic. <laughs> Finally, right? It, it, everything happens. It's like a flower. It's supposed to just bloom, right? Perfect divine timing. We don't need to. What are you doing right now? I was gonna stalk you or Uma. I figured someone needed to get on live view with me again. I love it. Yeah, I was do I was doing memes, you know, with my crazy with my crazy things I talk about. <laughs> oh my god! For sure, make sure you guys share this out. I can't, right? I can't share. Yeah, let me make see. Sure share this out. So we can share button. We can share this. Just wanted to raise vibes and say hi. And maybe talk about the rocks. Right? I know. Oh my god. Live. Oh my god. Like not just our timelines, me and Francisco, but we're all about to collide. Yeah. Me, you, everyone in this consciousness group. We're colliding yeah. back into oneness. Yeah. Literally. I think that, you know, it's it's happening. We're like merging timelines. It's like combing your hair. It's like all of the hair is messy. We meet at the rocks, it's gonna be like nice straight hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I saw your video. I mean, not to be a complete bitch, but you look like you were dying today, and so did I, but we're pushing through it. Right? We are. We are. <laughs> like, we're getting upgraded for the rocks, and I don't know if anyone believes that or could understand that, but you know we're getting some serious upgrades to be ready for those rocks in March. Oh, like, my God. Crazy. Insane. Insane. Like, yesterday, I had to, like, disconnect <laughs> completely because I'm like, I can't. I have to just shut off, right? It's like, you'll know either I'm healing or I'm resting when I'm not around, right? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm off grid too. I'm smoking galactic glue. So we're in our admin chat hanging out like we do. And I'm like, hey, why don't we get on video real quick? I said I'm off till further notice. I'll be out of the office smoking galactic glue, right? I love it. I love it. Yeah, we got to We got to We got to take care of ourselves. And I just did a feed of the uh, ATA group. You know, it's like, let's just, you know, I, I did a challenge. Actually, I told people I'm like, guys, if you want to check your ego, go lay on Starbucks on the floor. Let's see if you get anxiety, right? <laughs> Just lay at the Starbucks on the floor and see if like what's going through your mind, right? Nothing, right? It should just be nothing, right? But if you're like worrying about what people think about you, like maybe we have some work to do, right? <laughs> Go do something crazy in the Matrix like where everyone stare at you and see how you do. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like like lay on the floor challenge style. Oh my God. Yeah. But this is going to be crazy. My anxiety is doing pretty good. I mean, you know, I smoked at Buckingham Palace while I love the it. cops were out and I had zero fear. I've been in a lot of, you know, situations that have been some people could have been real afraid of them and I've been feeling pretty good with it. Yeah, good. No, I love it. Fearless, right? Oh my God, we got to go say hi to the queen and like sprinkle some fairy dust. Listen, I did. <laughs> I did this. Top things to do in the UK. Go say hi to the queen. She does. Someone asked, I always, when I'm in the matrix, I always hear the most crazy stuff. The universe loves you know, loves, you know, surprising us with fun synchronicities, crazy stuff, right? Oh. Blowing our minds. And so someone asked, really close standing by me, asked one of the guards if the queen actually was inside the castle or lived there. They were like, of course not. <laughs> no. no, it's just like, just like in her spaceship somewhere, right? Like controlling yeah. everything. Seriously. Yeah. I'm kidding, they don't live there. No, they don't. No, it's still, it's, anybody could just like bomb that and it's over, right? Yeah, we're going to have to find something to do in London for sure. Well, we have two um, days, right? Couple. Yep, top things to do in London, Buck, smoke, smoke weed at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Cross that off my bucket list, why don't you too? I know, right? We should, well, we should, we're getting tattoos, right? That's for sure, we're getting marked. <laughs> no, I loved it. There was a lot of crazy energy there too. They have that wheel. I'm going to check it. Oh my God, the, so um, the London Eye was closed London when Eye. we went in January or whatever. Yeah. And it was closed for that time of year for maintenance and it should be open. And if it is open, we're all riding the eye. We have the to. I picture like men in black suits, like the men in black getting on there <laughs> with like the everyday tourists, you know, going on the wheel. 
And then I picture like the men in black, like time travelers going on that wheel and using it to like, you know, time travel and yeah. stuff. That's just how I see it. You know, now that, now that you mentioned the London eye, right? Creepy eye, like hello. The eye, <laughs> like, the, yeah, eye, right. the porthole in the middle of London. I'm like, what is that porthole? Right in front of the parliament too, I'm right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> right in front of the parliament where like they gather with the little ceremonies and rituals and they probably like they okay. invoke the low vibrational entities right there, right? It's like all this secrecy. We need what the eye is. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's like where it at, is at. This is Stargate. These are Stargates. I mean, let's talk about Jerusalem. Right. The London Eye. Right. <laughs> Star Stonehenge. These are porthole points. Right. These are gateways. These are, it. you know, portholes of some kind. Exactly. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. Uh, you know, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we just disappear. <laughs> like we don't come back. I'm trying to. I want to leave this planet so bad. I'm not allowed to. I have to teach this. All right. But I want to leave so bad. I would just love to be as Stonehenge with you guys and just get beamed up out That's of here. It. We're out. And don't tell me this is impossible because in 1970, this very thing happened to a group of campers. Yes, I, I saw that. I saw that. These people just disappeared. <laughs> I don't want to hear this is not possible. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, I, I, I've been I've been prophesizing this. I mean, maybe we're just going to be transparent. I mean, that this is the event. March 21st, the event kicking off at the rocks. I think so. It's going to be the beginning of everything until the end, right? Uh, I was walking around the other day and I'm like, why can't people see me? I was walking and people wouldn't move out of the way. I'm like, am I becoming transparent here? What's going on? They, <laughs> like, hello. We're galactic probably have a lot of blue energy or blue light in our auras at times mm -hmm. like i swear to god especially when we're channeling i notice mm -hmm. and um blue light makes you invisible i swear to god i've had that happen too where we were with someone in one and um by stonehenge and they just i made them roll weed in the middle of the street there were like 200 shoppers walking around right. like and they, like i'm like these people are so sheeped out they're not even noticing anything around them i could tell right then right we're just rolling weed in the middle of the street <laughs> no one noticed yes. no one even saw us <laughs> Like, swear to God, it was like we were invisible, for sure. So people can only perceive the frequencies they're on. If you could vibrate much higher than the average person on yes. a different frequency, yeah, they might not be able to perceive you, for real. They can't see us. And I, I swear. I always use blue light in the matrix, too, before I go in the matrix, because I want to be invisible. Right. <laughs> I know. I love that. It's like, uh, we're not going to be seen, right? But, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's like... People, I'm like, hello, can people see me? And then some guy like turning on to me and I'm like, he, that guy just didn't see me. So that day, I'm sure I was like between timelines. I was like multidimensional. Like I was given choices, right? <laughs> like which timeline do I want to jump on here? Let me go home. <laughs> that timeline sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, it's so crazy. I don't even know how many people are going to the rocks. I know you are. I know Mitch is. I know. Christina is, right? Ali, we have Tony bringing people there, too. Yeah. We have a whole group of people that are going um, to the rocks. We have Seb going again. Yes. Right. So we have a group of people going, all from our group yeah. that you know. We have God, God's in the car. <laughs> and, and we will be taking lots of pictures and videos. And it's even more epic that Francisco's going because he does much better videos than me. He makes, like, the most amazing, you know, memes and videos. Come on. He's got some good videos. You inspire go, me. So you inspire he's me. He's going so he can record it for me. There we go. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'll be the recorder guy. I can take a break from the camera, right? Excuse me. You activated me, Ra. You activated me at every level. Like, you didn't have to, I didn't even have to talk to you. You just, your energy activated me. I'm like, wait. The videos. The videos. It's the videos. I was I'm watching you last year. I'm videos, by the way. I put activations in my videos. Yeah. That's my only intent to do a video. It doesn't matter if I'm talking about my galactic glue and hanging out. Right. That it's the energy that I'm channeling out. And it does activate people. Like, right. so crazy. Right. <laughs> and you did. It's like, okay, I know what I need to do. It's like, you talking. I'm like, what is she talking about? This is very complex stuff. This is like, she's talking like how God thinks. And I'm like, oh my God, it makes sense. And then I'm like, I'm understanding what she's saying now. It makes sense. <laughs> I just download the most complex yeah. stuff about reality, the natures of reality yeah. all day long. I can't even wrap my own head around it. I get so many downloads that I wouldn't even begin to know how to put on camera or even talk about. <laughs> right. That's when I give my crazy analogy. Trying to wrap my head around this ascension, why I'm here, what my purpose is, you know, why I'm colliding and learning with certain people, right? So meant to be when Francisco did reach out to me and found me in a minute. Like, I'll just know what people are finding me for. Same right. with this group. <laughs> right right well this group totally divine just the way it found me like on every level i love this group i think it's great to like branch out and and really kind of explain what wiccan is right people think wiccan is bad or it's like the pentacle reverse yeah, is the is devil the demon is. and it's good to kind of clear these paradigms because a lot of this like dark aspect the dark life's yeah. taken 
you know, all of the symbols I, and use them against. I us. was learning Reiki and I, I did Reiki on someone and they called me a witch, but I was so happy and excited about it. I'm like, yes. Like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, I'm a witch. You, you, yes. you, yeah, that's true. Yes, now you're getting me. <laughs> I love it, right? But yeah, we're so like, why would you? Because every witch movie we ever see, which those movies are a lot like my life. When I watch them casting demons back to hell and opening portal holes and, you know, the all Dracula, the shit they do, it's right. pretty much like another day at the office for us around here. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but they have so much stigma with, you know, the dark, and they never show light witches. They always show the dark witches on TV, right? They never show exactly. Them and they always show, you know, the dark programming kind of stuff. Have you seen the movie Above Tell Majestic? Us what is. Did you see Above Majestic? Tell us what Wicked is. I'm noticing it's very similar to what I do with the energy. Right. All these Druid, Wicca, I could go on and on. Right, right. <laughs> right. Every culture from the beginning of time, I noticed a lot of similarities mm -hmm. in the way that they, you know, have, are using the energy cycles, learning them. Right, right, <laughs> right. 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 Getting out into nature, um, harnessing the elements. It's a lot of the same kind of stuff to me, but for right. sure, tell them what Wicca is. Right, like for me, for me, you know, it's like earth, fire, water, air, and space, the ether, right? Like getting, getting energy together and setting intentions, right? I mean, doing a crystal grid is, you know, you could, you could play with those elementals, with herbs, you know, herbs, crystals, right? I mean, we all kind of have that in us. I think that, you know, uh, you know, the programming out there, it, it focuses on witches as being bad. And that's exactly what's out there. I mean, you look at the Smurfs and you have this guy, the wicked guy, you know. I mean, all of these cartoons are based on reality. And we just have to transmute that, right? And say, no, this is good. Yes, you could use energy and manipulate energy in a negative way. And then that's black magic when you violate people's free will, right? But, you know, that... You know what we I mean? We talk about all the time, black magic around here, violation of free will yeah. when you're putting spells on people without their permission or knowledge. Right. It could be a love spell, right? It could be a good intent. Yeah. I see people selling love spells. That would violate someone's free will. Exactly. They clearly told you they don't want to be your boyfriend. Thank you. And if you're going to be trying to use magic to make them fall in love, it's going against what they want on a free will level. So even though it seems all love and light, it's black magic. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, I always tell people, does he love you? Well, maybe no. No. Leave him. Just get out of there. <laughs> You know, that's how I just sleep. Well, I, I got to throw this out there. I've had a lot of problems with witches in my movements. Yeah. I just got to throw this out there. I think a lot of the condensation that comes about everyone thinking witches are negative is that when you're working with this energy, with these elements that, you know, your polarity is going to determine what kind of channel you are. I feel that a lot of witches play with things they don't understand right. and can open themselves up to negative entities and the negative spiritual in a lot of ways to some people that might not know what they're doing. Right. 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 I need the <laughs> so that's why we get a lot of this negative conversation because I've seen that where a lot of witches have become possessed. Right. Where they get taken over by a negative entity. They may have been channeling something positive, but on some level, this is where they ended up on their path. Right. Right. And it's people, people, you know, people that don't know who they are and they're trying to grab an identity. They go to like this wicked stuff, you know, and, they, and then they kind of start doing evil things. Right. It's like temptation. It's like this devil comes and says, I'll give you a million dollars, but you got to do this for me. Right. So if people take that path, right, of they don't know who they are, you really got to. You be... never get the million dollars. The dark side will never give you I anything know. they promise you. I know. Just remember that. I know. You... do all the, what they want. You're, you're, just selling, <laughs> you're just selling your soul to the devil, right? And it's just, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 and that's it, it's right? contracts, but you won't get what you think. Right. Exactly. Because the, the dark doesn't really care at the end about anything, right? They don't, they don't care about our well-being. So we got to take care of ourselves, right? I mean, and that's what I've been saying. Like, we need to be aware, mind, body, and soul. That's my trinity, right? <laughs> yeah, use your abilities wisely. I'm saying we just got them back from Elanian times. There was a reason why we just woke up now. The universe looks at us like small children. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> small children trying to teach us the best it can. And that's one way we can appreciate our abilities. And after, you know, a lot of us lived in Elanian times, almost all of America did, believe it or not, probably 80% of America right. had passing incarnations there. And what we learned was that we need to use our abilities to help heal and let, wake up everyone and lift up the collective and get creative and make the world a better place. Right, right? Right. And we learned powerful lessons based in magic back in Egypt, back in Elanian. Right. 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 This is where we ended up with it all. These systems were built on magic, these containment programs, these enslavement systems are using magic magic now whether it's the pharmaceuticals oh, yeah. the television alcohol <laughs> right? alcohol the indoctrination alcohol selling, is enchanted whatever they're doing it's really based on magic still so right. we've learned that you know it doesn't feel so good being the underdog and being on the bottom row it felt really good when we were in power and <laughs> doing these games but when we're on the lower end of it it doesn't feel so good so we need to really use our 
um, gifts to heal and help others. And I say right now, the universe has been showing me powerful messages about right now, during this time, we're all being tested. This is our school and we're being tested on how we're using our abilities. Yeah. It's determining how fast we're leveling up, how much more of this ability access we're getting. Right. Right. And so the more that we use our gifts to help other people, the faster we can amplify our abilities too and grow them. Right. And so we're really getting tested on how we use these abilities right now. Yeah. Yeah. Black, yeah. Television is black magic, Jamie. Absolutely. I mean, television, alcohol. I mean, alcohol, they understand how to enchant bottles. I mean, this is magic potion. Exactly. It's exactly. It's like source. drink so this it's up magic potion, and you're right? drinking a spirit. And then you, when you black out, you have total possession. You don't remember what you did because the demon took over. I mean, so when we give consent, anything that we give consent to, we're allowing whatever consequences that brings us with, right? And uh, we got to be aware when we give consent, right? I mean, look, drinking alcohol once in a while in moderation, I would say I drink like maybe three times a year and alcohol is not my thing. Uh, but, you know, just be aware if you're drinking alcohol because you're replacing something because you're filling a void, then we need to look at that void and take that, neutralize that, right? But when we are, you know, we got to look at why we do things. I always tell people, guys, you could do whatever you want. Just know why you're doing it, right? You should be able to do whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> Do whatever you want. No. Earlier, you should really be able to do what you want and choose what you're putting in your body on some level. But hey. Right, right, right. We have, we have, we have issues here, and we got to be careful what we're putting in our, in our, in our, in our mouth, right? But yeah, we need our, we need a pure vessel. We got to remember that the more spiritual power is going to come from being really pure. That's why all the time, all I do is try to detox, work on my energy, take my vitamins, do Reiki, right. do everything that I'm supposed to do, like meditating, you know, self care, right. so that I can work on my energy. Because the more pure my energy is, the stronger it'll be. We're all condu conduits, conductors of energy. Everyone is magic. Right. Everyone you know has the capacity to do everything we're doing right. um so what's what's going to make your energy stronger and more powerful is the more pure you are too right right i you know the body is an instrument and needs to be calibrated at a certain level where it's zero point so you could like really be attuned and if and then people are telling me i can't see angels my third eye is blocked i'm like well let's talk about my body and soul what is going on here right we got online everything and if our body is decalibrated, then yeah, I mean, you're not gonna experience these things. And then you get frustrated why you can't see orbs and lights. They've been bugging me actually a lot lately. You know, I'm like, okay, 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 too much, too much light. <laughs> it's like the orbs around here, right? But um, yeah. I shared this video everywhere too. I tried to share it everywhere. I, Hi, Anna, I got um, the lollipops. I got like probably 20 lollipops from her. I'm really excited about that. Oh my that, God, those right? are the best. Those are the best. It's like I chew it all at once yeah. too, so I'm out. <laughs> I don't even lick the it. Butt. You don't even know. That is magic. I'm, I'm trying to teach her you are magic. Yeah. Your energy. But she had, she's starting Reiki with me, okay? I love it. And I had to tell her, you're already putting your energy in the things you're creating, whether you're making weed products or art stuff or whatever your little creative abilities are, right? For me, I like to do art stuff, whatever. I'm put my my art is videos channeling, but I'm you know that's what I'm doing. I'm making something. You're putting your energy into anything you're doing. I try to tell her those products she's making are pure magic oh, yeah. and healing people. Are you kidding me? I've been having so much fun with my unicorns and stuff. I'm like I'm like wee, you know, and you know I love it because I know when I go to sleep, this still works. It's healing my body when I'm sleeping, right? It's like putting back things that were taken away. So I'm like, I'm loving it. Like, I'm like posting everywhere this stuff. It's just amazing. I'm loving it. No, save my lives over here. Thank you. We're, we're getting upgraded crazy. I know. Like, if you want to teach Ascension, I know we're doing Ascension, but if you want to teach Ascension, like me and Francisco are doing on live feed for a job, you better get ready for a ride yeah. because we're in like, <laughs> we... I can only describe it as spiritual boot camp all the time. Not yeah. to mention we're working all the time, <clears throat> but we're in such spiritual boot camp all the time we're getting such crazy lessons compared to some of the other upgrades i see going on and in progress like it's no joke <laughs> right 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 we 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 well we have to get hit first so that we can teach this stuff right i mean that's why we are teaching it right and you know i always mm -hmm. say this is nothing that nobody else can do we're like talking your consciousness out anyways right we're one consciousness it resonates because it's true it resonates because you know otherwise you wouldn't be on this feed right now you would just turn the feed yeah. off right I look at all you guys as my teachers. You guys probably don't realize that. No, but it's, right, we bounce each other. <laughs> but, but choose your teachers with care. 
choose the people that are putting a lot of work in, right? If right. that's the, a lot of videos going around, choose your teachers with care. Right. People that have mastered their energy are walking the talk. Anyone can put a video out nowadays. Trust me on that. Right. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you can. And that's why you got to be careful who you're watching, right? And if you're watching us, you should question everything like we television. Right now. You have to be careful. It's going into your subconscious and right. programming you, right? right? It's programming. It's pro we're being programmed. And you're watching a program right now to get deprogrammed from programming. <laughs> you were, reprogramming. You were re expert level reprogrammers. Right. I see why I'm needed in the UK, the core of all programming of the globe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to see why we're call being called to the UK? He's being called here. Too. Listen, his I'm soul is pulling him. I've been watching him. Look at my Stonehenge videos and my pictures, and I can already tell because I have I had that soul pull to come here too, right? I've had that feeling where you're just looking at it and like I should be there. I need to go there now. Mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> I don't know how, but I need to be there. You just need to get and there. I can already just feel it. So I'm just so excited. This is all coming. Oh my god, together. it's gonna so be really insane. Fun. We're gonna be sharing a room. You know, we're gonna be doing tons of videos. That's what I like. To we're do gonna. That. We're gonna. Oh my and god! We're wait, gonna be all, wait until we go to sleep. The room too, all of us. That'll be so crazy. <laughs> when we go to sleep, I don't know what's going to happen, but we might like ascend. We might take Want a trip on the ship. I'm going to put you on my schedule. I will be your Stonehenge tour guide. <laughs> I am the rock expert by now. I love it. I saw. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait. We, the, I don't really care what you do any other time, but the night of the rocks, yeah, I got it down. Yeah. So I try to put everyone to sleep. Okay. I try to make people take a nap from maybe midnight, whenever you're feeling like middle of the night, from like midnight to four in the morning. And then I would make sure everyone gets up. Because I'll get up. No one else will. We wouldn't have heard the alarm clock. It didn't go off last time. We would have missed the rocks. Right. So I got to get up. <laughs> we got to. We got to. But, but you won't sleep. When you're in that area, it's like it's like sleeping in a tent at Stonehenge in that hostel. That energy is so insane just in that area right. from the ley lines. It's only a few feet from the rocks pretty much, right? It's right. right down the street. Right. And it's such a crazy energy that when you're trying to take your little nap, if you do sleep, you're going to be having some crazy dreams. You're going to be real sweaty. You're going to be purging. Like, Love it. Like, it'll feel real crazy, but it'll be like, you'll be in such bliss the whole time. But you can tell it rapid detoxes you. It's similar to when I went to the Middle East. And that energy will rapid oh, detox yeah. you. Jerusalem and energy. It detoxes that body yeah. like on all new levels real fast, yeah. like rapid detox. That's what the rocks do to you. Yeah. It's like they rapid detox you. Before you even get to them, you're going to do a little rapid detox, adjust into the frequencies of the area. Right. Right. And I've been to Stonehenge when I was a child and I'm sure I was taking imprints and just like, you know what I mean? And I've been to Egypt and all this stuff, but you're not, you're, 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 I was sleeping. I'm a child. Right. But I'm sure it did something right. And it's it, part of your journey. Now it planted the seeds though, that you could just come back here. I think that I was thinking about it this morning that if I hadn't, you know, gone over to the middle East by myself, that would I have ever even attempted to come to the UK on my own. Right. Right. So in some it's what we needed. It's practice for your mission now. Any experience you ever had your whole life was practice for what we're going to do now. Right. And it's the irony that I was working for airlines travel the world, right? I mean, now I know how to travel around the world because I've done it. I know. I, I told people how to get around the world, right? So it's like, I'm now not afraid. Us with our exactly. Exactly. It's like the navigator, right? Now he can help us with our cheaper airfare. <laughs> cheaper airfare deals where do we go right? I, know, I know right it's like i know i know and that's the thing it's like we gotta every everything that happened to us in our life was preparing for this right and you know when i woke up like the angel told me you're here everything you suffer was so that you could give it away right you're not here for for you're not here to learn he told me you're not here to learn you're here to teach i'm like oh that makes sense <laughs> but not. i forgot i'm not here to I totally forgot. We're here to teach a different way, though. Exactly. Exactly. We're, <laughs> we're teaching. To learn the matrix way, exactly. Right? We're teaching the new thing. Exactly. We're not meant to do that. Exactly. Oh, we, we're getting the numbers up on this feed too. I, love I know. It. I was just hanging out and smoking some galactic glue. We were hanging out, talking in the chat. Anyway, I had to get either him or Uma on here. Uma's next. Oh my God, I love star. Uma. Yes, she's amazing. Not today, but tomorrow for sure. I see. I see. You guys did like a two hour, three hour feed the other night. I was like, damn, I love it. That no, was when my husband went to jail. Oh shit! And she saved my life. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking earlier that um, my vibe probably really sucked too, right? I'm having a panic attack on the down low, smoking hella weed. I was exhausted. It was so late UK time too. I was like falling asleep on video, just smoking weed. Right? It was yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember. But you know, you. Yeah, you... Right? She saved my life though. Going on feed, it was a good diversion, a good distraction. Good. It kept me where I need to be on my light worker mission. Right. And I don't know, she's just an amazing speaker. I can't wait to get her back on video because she's learning so fast. She's, you know, finished her Reiki, doing what she already should have been. Yeah. Did you guys forget you were already Reiki masters before you came here? Right. Yeah, we already have this <laughs> down. Did you guys forget? 
just need to brush her up and attune it real fast and that you've been healing forever or you wouldn't have been sent on assignment to this planet. Exactly. And the reason that I know you're on an assignment here is because you're tuned into my video at any rate. You wouldn't have even found it exactly. if you weren't, you know, awake in some capacity and a light worker. Exactly. I always tell people if you're watching my stuff, like it, 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 it's out of this world knowledge. We are already in different dimensions. Humanity, Black. the three people are the three D people are sleeping. Those people are in one dimension. We're already in another dimension. And you know, I don't really feel bad for them because we are telling them, but they don't want to believe in us. So it's like, okay, that's fine. But that we're already in two different consciousness, two different dimensions, right? And when this they happens, are. they won't even realize what took place because they didn't know that was an option. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's been taking yeah, it's been taking us years to raise our frequency and get here with detoxing vitamins reiki doing everything we're supposed to and you can't raise your vibrational frequency overnight that's the no. problem that you can't just detox and raise your vibe like we did or are doing right. overnight they won't be able to catch up at a certain point there's going to be such a frequency difference there's not enough space left for humanity to clear this karma I think it's a hologram anyway, and all those people are fake. <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's a matrix holographic reality. Those people, right. And uh, we're the only ones that are real here on right. every level, right. the ones that are doing this ascension. That's yeah. why I just ditched anyone to sleep around me. I don't have time for it. Because right. I believe that those people are either bad people, and the universe is keeping them asleep, so they can't harm us with those abilities. Right. And there's a reason they can't see what we can in the spiritual the universe chooses who wakes up. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. And so I, I always am around the awake light workers, right. right? On whatever capacity, because, you know, I don't know why people aren't waking up, what their lessons are. I don't care. I ha put my energy, my focus into the people that are awake. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. And, you know, that's the thing, right? Like, we just got to choose and ch change that, right? And a lot of people are trying to wake people up. Like, look what I know, look what I know. But this is the ego, right? I feel like this is the ego. Look what I know rather you know, than. Just teaching, just showing people the way, right? <laughs> Are you figuring out we have no idea what's going on here? We try our best with right. the energy and let you know. But did you figure out that we have no clue? I know we want the event to be in March of the Rocks, and I'm going to aim for that. But, so, like, let's get real. So My happen. Ascension calendar says we have a year of purifying this year. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I think I think this March... Who knows, right? So we're Figuring out that the universe is complex. It's hard for me to grasp my head around some of this stuff with my limited perception of what the universe is capable of, right. this reality, how it really works, like on so many levels. Right. And that's the thing. We have this human perception, right? But once we get the higher self perspective, then we see things completely different. Then we're going to remember every single detail. It's like, how do I not remember this? I'm like, how... How do, I mean, I'm seeing an eye looking at me and I see like a, like a face looking at me in meditation, a quantum hologram. I'm like, why don't I not remember? It's so big that we don't remember even that, right? It's just insane. Well, then you would know how to do the test. It wouldn't be a test if we could remember right. anything. Because this would be so mundane to us in a minute, I say, that we could like the matrix to shatter this whole matrix reality and create something new. So, mm -hmm. you know, we come here and we forget because we can't have all the answers to the test. So we really feel like we're this limited person not understanding that. If right. we really could come to self-awareness and full lucidity in a minute, we could be like manipulating the dreamscape like it's a dream, you know, t teleporting over to see my friend Francisco in California like you could in a dream state of consciousness. Right. And so we're not quite there. Right, we're not there <laughs> yet. Quite... But we're going and we're going. And we're and becoming we... more and more multidimensional. Right. Yeah, you're able to perceive things that your camera can't pick up. Right. You're able to see things that other people can't around you. Right. You can feel vibrations. You're getting more downloads, more tuned into your intuition. But, you know, your DNA is activating and it's making you multidimensional in every way. It's changing the human body in so many ways. I got a download the other day while on a feed. They told me, change heading course frequency to 909. And the night before, I asked the name of my ship. It's like, oh, you have a ship. It's called the New Aurora. I'm like, well, that makes sense. And it's like they're telling me. So they're Is getting that our new group. Name? No, that's my. It used to be New Earth. Now it's um, Galactic Empire. Yeah. I want to change because Francisco's group's getting more ads. I think it's our name. Uh, so Francisco's going to have to think of a new group name. What are you changing it to? <coughs> You're going to change it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. No, I let's. Don't know. I don't have. Yeah, you're supposed to come up with a new group name that'll get more ads to our Galactic mm -hmm. Empath Healer group. The Galactic like Empath, yeah, we can find a new, oh my god, I think it's maybe the new Aurora, new Aurora Ascension or something. I think it might be new Aurora. Yeah. It should maybe say Lightworker in there, I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, something to, yeah, okay. something to get those Lightworkers there. New Aurora Lightworker. 
Walkers. <laughs> okay, New Aurora Spaceship. With a spaceship. <laughs> Something People like that. People will think it's a brand new group. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you got to reset. You got to reset, right? That's what I do too. I reset like every year, maybe. We're going to reset the Galactic Group if you guys are lost. Oh hey. my God, it's going to be epic. It's going to be reissue. It's going to be. Share, I'll share links on my page like it's a new group. It's going to be my new group. <laughs> we'll change the name. Like, my new it's going to be Ascended. 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 Every group week now. I have a new group and a new place I'm doing videos. I'm putting like five group name links on my videos a day. Before <laughs> Ali. Comment, You're always moving around. I like to do that. Then people can't find me. <laughs> Before Ali did the memes, I was changing my memes group like every freaking week. I'm like, no, no. But now she nailed it. Like she did amazing artwork. And I'm like so blessed. Um, Ali is coming to hang out with oh us. Oh my gosh, she's, she's coming. I would never go back. Yeah. I mean, we had to go to the eye. We didn't debunk the eye. We have to do the eye. Oh my God, right? That's (laughs) going to be epic. We didn't shine a light on their eye porthole. Oh my God, this is going to be epic. We got to go to the eye, but no, Allie's going too. I think that, what are you wearing to the rocks? I saw some like dragon unicorn outfits. That's what I want to do. I want to get like a unicorn. Don't be in the news. I said that anyone who wears the crazy like outfits, like the unicorn outfits, I always see that they put them, their picture in the news articles all over about Stonehenge and the Equinox. Oh my God, I want to. You guys, if you wear the unicorn onesies, will be in the news for sure. I love it. On Stonehenge. I want to I wanna get some Wednesdays going. Like, when we ride from London, we're going to be on a car ride for, like, five hours, right? So I want to get, like, a unicorn Wednesday. God's, God's, God's on a car, right? We're going on a road trip, too. <laughs> we're all going to be in the same car. Expect a lot of fun videos. It's, it's going <laughs> to be. Don't be surprised if the we're car starts flying. We're all going to be in the flying. same car. We're going on a UK road trip, too. Don't be surprised if the car girl wings and starts flying out of the highway. This is after Francisco has to, in a space storm, make a timeline jump to come over here to mine. Right. And it will be very chaotic, too. You'll have a lot of turbulence, I'm sure, on your plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) It'll be extra chaotic energy to get you there. So by the time you get here, you would think you would be tired and just done, but... You'll feel real good for at least the first three weeks you're into in the UK until you the frequency really hits you. I'll use and that. then you're gonna need a couple months to adjust to these frequencies. I'm, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the energy. You can only stay like a month and you'll fall into the frequencies. They talk about that in different areas of the UK that you could go to like Bath or live by Stonehenge and fall into these frequencies and it might not be so good for you. <laughs> Bath is amazing. I've been to Bath. It's like actual Bath. Outside. Yeah, they're like, don't live there, though. They're like, you can visit these places, but you can't live there, I guess. And you'll see by Stonehenge that very few people live in those areas. It's too high you frequency. You expect them they're, more, like, they get sick. areas have a lot of stuff there. They're like, there's no residential areas out there. They get sick. They can't handle the energy. Yup, sleeping they're, people. They're doing, they're doing their matrix stuff, so they can't handle that. It's too pure. It's too high vibe. Yeah. People tell me after my videos, I'm like, oh my God, how did you penetrate my energy? I'm throwing up. I love you. It's like my videos make people yeah. sick. <laughs> like, Shout out to Gem with the galactic glue. How appropriate for me, right? She's like, I saw the weed when I got it and it was galactic glue. My I love whole it. house smells like weed. I love it. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. All day. Yes. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been myself like getting up. You know how many times, you know, people talk so much shit about that. It's like, listen. Like, it's, it's like having salad and tomato, right? It's like, it's just another plant. And it has changed my timeline for the better, I'm sure, a lot of times. Because you smoke and that's it, right? You just chill, right? Holistic healing, yeah. It's healing. For sure. It's healing. So, yeah, for sure. oh my God. This the is- entire finish shift from pharmaceuticals and realize that this is magic too. And right. that they're actually making you a lot sicker and they're making money off of it. Right. And they're not healing anyone. <laughs> right, right. They're right. just killing making it worse right on so many levels and i think that the world really needs to shift back to using holistic things and herbal things and you know detoxing and purifying and stuff like that if you know me right i really think that you know when they give those uh commercials the side effects this medicine might cause diarrhea blah blah blah, blah, blah right i'm like that's exactly what it's meant to do it's not meant to do the other stuff right so yeah, the side effects are always <laughs> lovely crush and when you live in america they have those ads all the time though and they're like, blah, 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 blah. They're programming people to be sick that way because all you see are like, you know, medication ads, sickness, everyone's sick and having cancer everywhere on TV. They love to show you ads and commercials like that. So it's programming you to be sick. Right. When you see this all around you and you're reading the list and like, oh, maybe I have that. Right, right. <laughs> maybe I have that. I have a couple of those symptoms. Welcome to the matrix, right? Right. And so that's how they program people. And then you get worry and then you think about it. And when you're worrying, you're attract. You're using the law of attraction when you're worrying, actually, because you're thinking what you don't want and it's, you're attracting that to happen. You're manifesting your illness, actually. 
I always tell mothers, don't worry about your kids care for them. When you worry about them, you're projecting all of your worries into their timeline. Like, don't worry about them. Care. No, never worry about anyone around you. You can right. manifest that for them. I had to get rid of some people that were always worrying about me. I don't like that I either. Like yeah. Self sabotaging what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> trying to stay positive and create my reality, right? Right. Worrying is just negative. And I, you know, for me, it's like, let's just, let's just be optimistic here. I run away from pessimistic people. That's like, ah! Like that, like destroys my creation, right? It's like the opposite of creation. It's pessimistic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get out of here now! Wait, like block by, I'm out, right? Um, I'm out. yeah, that's it. No, I can't. I can't do that. You know, pessimistic. I can't do it. It's too expensive. It's too much money blocks, right? That talk about money blocks. It's too expensive. Money block. Hello. <laughs> Someone says commercials are lies. They are lies. You know that those models don't use that kind of shampoo. <laughs> 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 the shampoo I wear it every day. It's what makes my hair great. You know they don't use that shampoo and never heard of it before that job. Right. Paid ads everywhere. Use this product. It's great. <laughs> right. No, they, they, the whole thing is, is just insane. I always say if you take television away from humanity, humanity will lose its mind. <laughs> They will go crazy. It'd be like well, taking a child's toy. Television hasn't even been around that long, believe it or not, right? Right. Like what, the 60s? That's when like the nuclear bomb, yeah, the nuclear true. age started. We had television, right? So they had the Cold War or whatever. I don't know because I, I told my husband, we never learned history in America, right? <laughs> so I don't really know what the Cold War was, but I know they right. would threaten people with it. Like Russia's going to nuke us. We had a Cold War. Remember that? Right. And, right. <laughs> so they put te a television in every person's home in America so that they could broadcast Russia's going to nuke you. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Russia may blow you up and that they could listen to, you know, stuff like that on their television. This would probably be where the television came in programming, right? It's crazy. Have you seen the movie? above majestic no i haven't oh my god you need to see it it talks about everything we talk about but they don't talk about the solution it's on amazon prime they talk about the reptilians and they talk about ascension it's on mainstream believe it or not but they're not talking about the light workers they're not talking about god or the angels they're talking about the fear-based stuff so it's their way the cabal's way to release the truth in their own manner because i mean come on uh truth speaking on amazon prime that's cabal i mean hello right <laughs> like I don't believe I don't everything is coming to this everything that was hidden is going to be revealed and it is being revealed right. suddenly it's just kind of common knowledge about these kind of things that were hidden for so long right with this awakening everything's coming out right and one thing I'm like wondering I'm like you know this 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 documentary is talking about everything we know but they're not talking about the solution but they're talking about also David Wilcock is like oh not everyone's bad in the government I'm like what you really want me to trust anyone in the government? Are you crazy? I mean, talk they about programming, right? right? <laughs> talk about programming. They're definitely like getting you ready to, they're, they're telling the truth, but their way, right? Well, they can, with your ego, you can justify that anything is good. These doctors think they're helping heal people and that they're heroes, right? Right. So you can go ahead and justify what you're doing, but on a soul level, your soul knows like, you can go ahead and justify I'm a good person and I'm just working for the government, but your soul knows what you're doing. Right. So it doesn't matter how much you ego justify it on whatever level, your soul knows it's bad. Exactly. <laughs> it's like when I tell people about food, they feel guilty and they project that guilt onto me. I'm like, don't kill the messenger, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't kill the messenger. Right? Famous last words right here. I'm like, don't kill the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. Okay, right? That's just your guilt. That's your soul telling you what I'm saying is true and you just don't like it. <laughs> right? Like that always happens. I'm like, oh my God, I can't, I can't. Okay, we're gonna get Francisco off here because we really just want to chill. All right, day off. okay guys, I love you so much. <laughs> we're just like doing what we do with men work, office work, right, hanging out. So I'm gonna let him get back to his right, making guys. some fun. Love music. you, ciao but guys. For sure, we're gonna get him and me live to Ascension next and I can't wait. So we for sure will do chakras.